One of the best methods to achieve proficiency is to learn from others. Hello friends, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial channel and this is Randy from Ranch Graphics and today I'm gonna be showing you how to create this. As usual, I will create a new composition, name it Logo Placeholder. Nineteen twenty by ten eighty p, thirty frames per second, twelve seconds duration. Click OK. Go to your project panel. Open this project assets folder. Open the image. Drop down this logo into the timeline. Press on your keyboard for the scale. I will just scale it down to sixteen percent. Then go to composition, create new composition, name it tagline. Change the width here to 1000. The height is 200. 30 frames per second and 12 seconds duration. Click OK. Grab the text tool and type tagline here. Center it horizontally and vertically. I'm using a Luron font, regular, 100 pixel size, and the tracking is 100. Go to the project panel and open the assets folder again. Open the footage and highlight these two footages. Drop it down into the composition icon here. Make sure that this is multiple compositions. Click OK. Go to composition, create a new composition. Name it main. 1920 by 1080p, 30 frames per second, 12 seconds duration, click OK. Go to your project panel and drop down this tagline into the timeline. Then move your play it forward to 4 seconds duration. Press open bracket key to move that layer. Press T on your keyboard for the opacity. Make a keyframe by hitting this stopwatch on the opacity. Set the value here to 0. Then move forward your play it to the 6 seconds duration. Set the opacity here to 100%. Press P on your keyboard for the position and drag it down. I will just put it here for now. I will just change it later. Go to Tile Action Save, enable it so you can see the center of the canvas. Now go back to your project panel and drop down this logo placeholder into the timeline and also the glass shattered. Go back your plate probably 1 second and 11 frames and highlight this logo placeholder. Disable the visibility of this glass shattered first. Toggle switches mode in here. Enable the 3D layer on the logo placeholder and drag it down like this. Then press P on your keyboard for the position and shift R for the rotation. Move my plate at the beginning of the timeline. Create a keyframe on the position. Also the Z rotation. Then I will change the Z rotation here to negative 18. Change the Z position to 1126.2. Then I will enable the flash shutter, move my plate forward to 1 second and 11 frames. Highlight this placeholder and move it up. Like that. Change the Z position to 60 to 81.1. Y position, change this to 578. Then move forward your plate to 1 second and 15 frames. Change the Z rotation here to 0. Then move forward your plate again to 6 seconds duration. Change the Z position here to 3126.2. Y position, change this to 434. Highlight the tagline, enable the 3D layer. Change the Z position here to 5594.2. Then the Y value change this to 949. So as you can see that our logo is not center. All we have to do is to change this X position to 960. Be sure that your playhead is plus on this keyframe. Then move back your playhead to this keyframe. And when you look at it, it's not at the center. So change this to 960. 
and also the glass shattered move my plate at the beginning of the timeline look at it it's 960 so we're good to go highlight these three keyframes press f9 to ease it open graph editor highlight this corner drag it on the right side then i will highlight this corner drag it on the left side like that close it highlight this tagline go to effects and preset go to generate fill change the color here to d36a3c then click ok you can see that our text changed its color highlight this logo placeholder and duplicate it by pressing ctrl d i will highlight the logo placeholder below go to effects and preset go to distort cc globalize open blabbiness change the property here to alpha change the softness to 5 cut away 0 open the blob layer i think that should be good enough be sure that it's 3 logo placeholder and 3 logo placeholder so what i'm gonna do here is to disable first this one and let's see disable this glass shutter too so you can see better so now i'm gonna enable this placeholder number two highlight it go to effects and preset go to generate cc light sweep move your blade to seven seconds duration then create a keyframe by hitting this stopwatch on the center take this anchor point put it in here move your blade forward to 10 seconds duration Move this anchor point on the other side like that and press U on your keyboard to see the keyframes. I like these two keyframes. Press F9 to ease it. Enable the visibility of this glass shattered. I like it. Go to effects and preset color correction. Try tone. Change the mid-tones color here to D5A363. Then click OK. Go to layer. Create a new adjustment layer. Move this adjustment layer just below the glass shattered. Then go to effects and preset. Go to distort. Add displacement map. Change the displacement map layer to glass shattered. Change the max horizontal displacement to 237. Max vertical displacement to negative 183. Right click my mouse and rename this adjustment layer, change this 3 to 1. Now go to layer, create a new adjustment layer. And drag it on top of the glass shutter. Then go to effects and preset, go to stylize, add glow. Change the glow radius here to 180. Go to edit and duplicate it. Change the glow radius here on the duplicated glow to 289. Open project panel, tap down these layers into the timeline. Then go to effects and preset, go to color correction, dry tone. I will just highlight this glass shattered, copy this color. Go back to flares, change the midtones color here, paste it. Click OK. Put my plate back into the beginning of the timeline. Press S for the scale and Shift R for the rotation. Create a keyframe by hitting the stopwatch on the scale and on the rotation. Change the rotation to 45 degrees. The scale change this to 208%. Highlight these players. Go to effects and preset. Go to stylize and add flow. Move forward your player to one second. Change the rotation here to zero. Then move forward your play to 1 second and 10 frames duration. 
change the scale to 132.4 create a keyframe on the glow intensity move your play to 1 second and 21 frames set the value here on the glow intensity to 0 then move your play to 2 seconds duration change the scale value here to 100% press you on your keyboard to see the keyframes I think that should be good enough. Now go to layer, create a new camera. I'm using a custom camera. Make sure that the blur level is zero. Click OK. Go back to layer, create a null object. Enable the 3D layer on the null object. Parent the camera to the null object. Press P on your keyboard for the position. Move your player forward to the 5 seconds duration. Create a keyframe by hitting the stopwatch on the position. Move your play head forward to 10 seconds duration. Change the Z value here to 2000. Highlight these players. Double switch is mode in here. Change the blending mode to screen. So now we will go to composition. Create a new composition. Name it final. 1920 by 1080p, 30 frames per second, 12 seconds duration. Click OK. Go to the project panel and drop down the main into the timeline. As you can see that the logo is here, you go back to main. I like these two logo compositions. Drop it down a bit. So it's up to you guys wherever you want to position your logo. So now I'm going to go back to the final and let's preview this. Now guys we are done with our tutorial and thank you very much for watching. I hope that it helps you. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment or maybe give me a super thanks if you want to support my channel and press the notification bell so that you will get alerts every time I will upload videos. My thoughts for today guys is that for your peace of mind you don't need to understand everything. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. God bless.